Kim Kardashian went from being Tristan Thompson's biggest hater to now his biggest fan. And what's crazy is that after all Chloe has been through with Tristan, Kim has made it very clear over these last few years that she stands by her sister Chloe's mental health and well-being in a very stern way. So for everyone to see that Kim was recently showing love to her sister's cheating baby daddy openly dropped a lot of jaws, you guys. Okay, this truly, truly baffles me. I am super confused on when the Kardashians started supporting Tristan again. I understand that he is the father of Chloe's children. I get that. But Kim was always Tristan's biggest hater because of the things he had done to Chloe, like cheating on her while she was pregnant, cheating on her with Jordan Woods cheating on her with multiple women, getting another woman pregnant while they were dating, letting her go through a second pregnancy via surrogacy, fully knowing he had a baby on the way. All around, a lot of people on social media were just very shocked that Kim would go out of her way to support Tristan publicly at that, expressing how not only would this be embarrassing on her end, but also for Chloe, since that is her sister. A lot of people over on TikTok also have to speak about this, saying that they understand keeping the peace within the family for the sake of the kids and everything, but that Kim going out of her way to make a full-on sign for him, cheer him, and post him on her Instagram story, all these different ways of support, just going the extra mile was just not it. Especially given the plenty of Kardashian series where they shed light on Tristan effing up and Kim vigorously defending Chloe and bashing Tristan. I mean, Kim even stated it's so effed up that Tristan cheated on Chloe in 2018 on The Ellen Show. And now people are just going like, what's with the switch up? So for those of you who don't know, Khloe Kardashian and Tristan and Thompson's relationship has been tumultuous to say the least. A lot happened between them leading up to their second split in 2021, following their reconciliation one year prior, which had occurred after Tristan was reportedly cheating on Chloe with fitness trainer Marilee Nichols. Tristan and Marilee would then later welcome a child together. And I'm sure you guys have seen this clip of Chloe speaking out to her reaction after finding out the news. Tristan and I are are, I don't even know if I want to say Tristan and I. I am having another baby. There was um, a minute, I don't know, I wasn't with you guys, but from what I could see from watching the finale, I think she says, if this is not a sign that you shouldn't have another baby with him, I don't know what else is. But if this isn't the biggest sign for you to not have another baby with this human being. We did an embryo transfer like days before Thanksgiving. And I found out about Tristan's situation the first week of December. And it's just so close. I wouldn't want anyone to think I did this after the fact. Why would I want to have a baby with someone who's having a baby with somebody else? In January of 2022, Tristan himself came on Instagram to confirm that a paternity test had revealed that he was the father of Marilee Nichols' son. He pretty much apologized to Chloe. Today, paternity test results reveal that I fathered a child with Marilee Nichols. I take full responsibility for my actions. Now that paternity has been established, I look forward to amicably raising our son. I sincerely apologize to everyone I've hurt or disappointed throughout this ordeal, both publicly and privately. He also said this to Chloe personally, saying, Chloe, you don't deserve this. You don't deserve the heartache and humiliation I have caused you. You don't deserve the way I have treated you over the years. My actions certainly have not lined up with the way I view you. I have the utmost respect and love for you. And here's where a lot of people thought that kind of contradicted whether he actually loved Chloe or not, because if he did, his actions wouldn't be what they were. His public apology to Khloe Kardashian is 100% a narcissistic apology. Let's check it out. And if you're new here, I'm a narcissist. I actually have narcissistic personality disorder. So this is part one of the photos that he posted on his Instagram. You know, pretty much just saying, hey, look guys, the paternity test came back and I am indeed the father of this child that Marley Nichols was accusing me of being the father of. But now here he goes. I take full responsibility for my actions. Now he's ready, like prepared to raise their son together. And the bottom part right here is pretty much your typical blanket narcissistic apology. I apologize to everyone I hurt, public, private, whatever. Narcissists never apologize for like specific things that they have done. 
when you are looking for an apology from a narcissistic person, you'll get stuff like this. I apologize for everything. I'm sorry for everything. I'm sorry for everything I put you through. I never meant to hurt you, blah, blah, blah. This next part is a doozy and is 100% allegedly narcissistic, y'all. It kind of collapses in on, in on itself. Like he says, my actions certainly have not lined up with the way I view you. Then he immediately says, I have the utmost respect and love for you. Those two things do not match up. Those two things actually count, count, uh, counsel themselves out. I know I treated you terribly, but I respect you. And here, here it goes right here. Regardless of what you may think. So Kim brought her daughter North with her to the Lakers game just a couple of days ago, and she brought this sign, you guys. Yep, you're reading that right. It says Tristan Thompson. Kim certainly didn't shy away from supporting Tristan throughout this entire game on Friday when she held up this homemade sign with his name on it, as well as bring North with her, which some people thought was a little weird. Now, to add to all this shock of Kim going out of her way to go the extra mile and make this sign for Tristan Thompson, just cheering him on, even though people were reporting that Tristan was barely playing at the Lakers game and that supposedly he was just a bench warmer. But in one Kardashian episode, Kim even revealed that Tristan ended up blocking her on Instagram, which she was pretty upset about. So now that she's out here doing this, despite all he's done towards her sister and all the trauma that he's caused her throughout her life was just very confusing. People all over Twitter were saying things like, it's so weird to me how Kim can continue cheering for Tristan after the way this man has dogged the F out of her sister. It could never be me. The man doesn't even play. What is Kim's obsession with Tristan? When has she ever gone this hard for any of her sister's exes? That man has done everything but physically harm this family, and that is the sort of support Kim and co want to teach slash endorse. Got it. I like Kim, but the way she champions Tristan is so weird. After looking over on Kim's Instagram stories that night, it seems like Kim was doing more than just cheering for Tristan at the Lakers playoffs game against the Golden State Warriors, because she posted these photos on her Instagram stories of Tristan, and she was just cheering him on. People thought this was a little extra, and at this point, there were some people on social media that thought there had to be an underlying reason and a more strategic reason why Kim was doing this. This TikToker who works in marketing came up with a theory on why she believes Kim did this, and she says that it could actually be a soft launch segue into another Chloe and Tristan reunion. I put two and two together and got four. My prediction slash theory is that Kim K is helping Chloe relaunch, soft launch, another relationship with Tristan considering they just had a baby together and I really hope this is not true for Chloe's sake because we all know what that woman has been through. But to help solidify this theory, on this night Saturday I didn't take a screenshot of Kim's story but she tagged Tristan in a photo saying like oh hey and then tagged him. And in addition to that, I'm watching game four today. Why do I see Kris Jenner and Corey Gamble both sitting courtside? So I'm pretty sure the whole family is helping Chloe re-soft launch her relationship with Tristan. Or they could just be supporting True's dad. Let me know what you think of this theory in the comments. And if this comes true, don't say I didn't tell you so. Anyways guys, this has been what's been going on with Kim Kardashian and her recent call out after attending the Lakers game and supporting Tristan Thompson. I definitely want to know you guys think about this situation in the comments down below. I love you guys so much and as always, I'll see y'all later.